Welcome back to Mr. Pollock Biology and my series on respiration. This is stage two, the link reaction for A2 level students studying the AQA specification, unit four. Here are our objectives. We're going to understand what happens in the link reaction and identify the products of the link reaction. So let's get started. Here we are after glycolysis. We've got two molecules of pyruvate, those three carbon compounds from the very end of glycolysis, the end product of glycolysis, but hey wait, these guys are now in the matrix of the mitochondria where link reaction takes place. But how do they get there, you ask? Well, glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm, so we produce pyruvate in the cytoplasm, and then we need to transport it into the matrix, which is like the enzyme-filled soup of the mitochondria. To transport pyruvate, we have a specific protein channel that transports through the outer mitochondrial membrane and the inner mitochondrial membrane, so therefore we're bridging the gap between the cytoplasm and glycolysis and the matrix and link reaction. So that's how pyruvate gets into the mitochondria. But what happens in link reaction? Well, our old friend NAD is here. So NAD, that coenzyme, is going to come in and it's going to remove hydrogen from that pyruvate. So that's going to be the oxidation of pyruvate. We remove hydrogen from pyruvate and oxidize it. Now remember we said that when one thing gets oxidized, another thing gets reduced, that's a redox reaction. Well, NAD is being reduced here. So NAD is reduced to reduced NAD or NADH and pyruvate is oxidized. We also get the formation of protons here as well. Don't forget about these guys, these are really important when we look later on at the electron transport chain. So you can kind of forget about them for the time being, but remember that they exist. So there we go, there goes reduced NAD, whizzing away and leaving our oxidized pyruvate. The next stage is the removal of CO2 from each of those molecules. This is known as decarboxylation, and an enzyme catalyzes this process. So there we go, carbon dioxide is gone, which leaves us with two two carbon compounds, which leads us on to the little final end stage of link reaction where we add in coenzyme A. So coenzyme A binds to that two carbon compound and this results in the formation of the end product of link reaction which is known as acetyl-CoA. So we get two molecules of acetyl-CoA produced because we, end, we started off with two pyruvate and this is a two carbon compound. So let's have a look at the whole process of link reaction as one picture. We start off with pyruvate, the end product of glycolysis, as a three carbon compound. And the whole of link reaction we can summarize in one step where pyruvate is oxidized to acetyl-CoA. Now that oxidation involves the reduction of the coenzyme NAD to NADH, the addition of coenzyme A, and the decarboxylation of pyruvate, which is the removal of CO2, or carbon dioxide. So we end up with acetyl-CoA. But remember, from glycolysis, we started off with two pyruvate. So let's have a look at the whole scheme so far. So this is the whole cellular respiration as we know it from glycolysis to the end of link. So glucose is phosphorylated, then splits into triose phosphate, so then oxidized to pyruvate, and that bit there, that is glycolysis, which occurs in the cytoplasm. Then the bit we've studied today, pyruvate being oxidized to acetyl-CoA, involving the reduction of NAD, the addition of CoA, and the decarboxylation. Well, that is link reaction, and that occurs in the matrix of the mitochondria. So what are the products of link reaction? Well, we've got two lots of acetyl-CoA, which is a two-carbon compound, two lots of CO2, and 2 NADH, or reduced NAD. And that is everything, that is link reaction, the second stage of cellular respiration. Next up, we've got Krebs cycle. Watch ahead if you feel confident. If not, don't forget to review glycolysis and ATP. Take care, like, comment, and subscribe.